According to the Misuse of Drugs Act in the UK and the Controlled Substances Act in the US, drugs such as magic mushrooms, cannabis, and LSD are currently categorized as Schedule 1 substances. This means that these drugs are considered to be harmful or dangerous and are believed to have no medical value. But to what extent are these claims supported by the evidence? Let's first take a look at the harm they cause. In 2010, the British neuropharmacologist Professor David Nutt published a study in which he assessed 20 of the most commonly used drugs and ranked them in terms of the harm they cause both to the user and to others. The study found that certain Schedule 1 drugs, such as magic mushrooms, LSD, and ecstasy, are not only far less harmful than drugs like crack cocaine and heroin, but are less harmful even than certain legal drugs, such as tobacco and alcohol, the latter of which, incidentally, was found to be the most harmful drug of all. So then, given this evidence, why is it that certain relatively innocuous drugs like cannabis and LSD are illegal, while more harmful drugs like alcohol are not? In his book, Drugs Without the Hot Air, published in 2012, David Nutt delves into this question and concludes that in most cases, the reasons are economic or political, rather than medical. For example, the cannabis plant, which has been used as a medicine for more than 3,000 years, is also a highly versatile material for making textiles and paper. It therefore presented a threat to the cotton and paper industries, which resulted in their lobbying government during the early 20th century to make the cannabis plant illegal. Therefore, the reason certain drugs are illegal and others are not appears to have very little to do with the scientific evidence relating to the harm they cause. But then what about this second criterion of Schedule 1 legislation? That Schedule 1 drugs have no medical value. Well, despite the fact that conducting scientific research on Schedule 1 drugs is incredibly hard to do from a legal standpoint, there have still been many studies supporting their therapeutic use. In 2018, a study found that just two treatments of MDMA-assisted psychotherapy completely resolved symptoms in 86% of patients with treatment-resistant PTSD. A study of smokers in 2014 found that just two treatments of psilocybin, the active compound in magic mushrooms, resulted in 80% of smokers being able to abstain for at least six months, making it more than twice as effective as the current best treatments. Finally, a study in 2017 found that the cannabis derivative cannabidiol reduced the occurrence of seizures in patients with treatment-resistant epilepsy by 52%. According to Professor David Nutt, no drug is completely risk-free. However, we need to start basing drug policy on actual scientific evidence in order to facilitate vital medical research and to better regulate the use of these drugs in society. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more content just like it, and until next time, Thanks for watching.